this is A Automotive Reviews, and today we have here the Ford Mustang Mach E. And before we start the video, I want to um, remind you guys to share and subscribe, and also to support me by watching these commercials, because that's how I can make money and bring great content and live content. Um, we have here the Ford, the new Ford Mustang Mach E. And today we're going to talk about the autopilot. Now, there are many reasons to uh, purchase a 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. Uh, the first is that it's an all-electric model with a Mustang badge and the Mustang um, heritage. Now between 266 horsepower and 459 horsepower, this, those are, that's the horsepower that you can get with this baby. And a driving range of either 235 and 300 miles basically depends upon how much money you can spend. Now, depending on the battery size and drive drivetrain, the level of performance is clearly within the realm of Tesla. And now, uh, Ford is giving uh, something to buy for the people who are tech conscious. And if you can remember the uh, Tesla. Um, Autonomous start driving feature is just off the chain. Now the Mach E is also getting a semi-autonomous driving uh, package. The Tesla also, if I can correct it, is also a semi-autonomous package. Now on the this one is called the Ford Copilot 360. Now this has a a gamut of uh, driver assistant features, and it's going to have the ability that they call Active Drive Assist. Uh, just like the Cadillac Super Cruise that we've seen, which is awesome, um, Active Drive Assist is going to allow the uh, Mach-E uh, owner to drive completely hands-free for up to 100,000 miles of divided highway in all 50 states, and that is also including Canada. Now, the Ford has this awesome screen too, as you can see. This is just awesome, and then it gets this wheel in the bottom too, right here, instead of having it. And they also have it down here, but I think this is the, the uh, transmission wheel uh, for the uh, drive reverse, uh, neutral, and all of that. But this right here is for this right here. And it should be, you know, it would have been smarter for them to put it down here, you know, somewhere and just um, put the. Um, <laughs> the reverse the um drive indicator for the uh to put that here somewhere and put that here so you can work it while you're driving instead of because reaching for this is while you're driving behind a wheel it's going to be a nuisance but it do look sharp however this is a, a nice setup and a nice angle to looking at this car now the hands-free mode only works on uh, pre-map divided highways, uh, just like the Cadillac system. And just like the Cadillac system, uh, Ford has installed a driver-facing camera, uh, which tracks your head position and eye gaze to make sure that you're looking at the road and paying attention to while you're driving. Now Ford engineers have tested the uh, radar and the camera-based system over 650,000 miles to ensure that they work in real-world situations. Now the Ford team has aggressively tested Active Drive Assist uh, to bring something uh, to the customers and to enhance the driving experience. And, and definitely they can trust it. Uh, and that's Justin Teens. Um, he says that Active Drive Assist feature uh, Will be far. Will take you be able to take you to far flung places around the U.S. and Canada, from Florida to California, from Quebec to Texas, Wyoming to Idaho, uh, to try uh, to simulate uh, those rare sensor measurements uh, might not get anywhere else. Uh, capturing data in a number of different ways, and that's what makes this. You know, that's what they did in order to make this car special. They active drive assist now. 
I find this sort of, you know, Volvo also has a semi-autonomous driving and it works on any, any highway as long as the, as long as the lines, you know, as long as there's lines in the middle and lines on the side, but when the lines disappear, and I'm thinking this system works the same way, but I guess on certain highways, like on regular roads, you know, it won't work, but on the Volvo, it works on all roads, as long as there are lines and, you know, but you have to pay attention because when you get, when you pass the, um, the, you know, intersections, it I like turn off because there's no lines temporarily. You know, it's, there's like a slight, a slight delay, and you have to have your hands on the steering wheel. Now, this system is going to make the the stress on the highway disappear. A long highway drives is going to be a thing of the past. Now, Hugh Dai Tang, this is Hugh Dai Tang, his, um, the Ford's chief product development and purchasing officer, said by introducing the driver assist technologies like active drive assist, uh, Ford versions of a hand-free uh, driving, uh, it's going to allow customers to feel more confident whenever they're behind the wheel. Now, active driving assist uh, will be available in the select 2021 uh, model years for Ford vehicles, including the Mustang Mach-E lineup. Um, and the people have already placed their orders for the Mach-E. Now you have to opt for the Ford Copilot 360 Active 2.0 prep package at the time of purchase. And one thing that's funny, on all, on all Volvos, this is standard. You don't have to worry about this. It just comes with it. But a lot of other manufacturers, such as Ford, you have to order it. And that that's what I find sort of... Um, a little perplexing because this thing adds for safety and it just takes the worry out of driving and just reduces fatigue a great deal just like lane keep assist but this just takes it a step farther now buyers who select the uh, package that they call the copilot 360 on uh, the active 2.0 prep package uh, will receive the software at a Ford dealer and it's, of, and it's also over-the-air update. But then you have to go to the Ford dealer to get the over-the-air update. Um, which is expected in the third quarter of 2021. Now the prep package also includes the Active Park Assist 2.0. Which enables the Mach-E uh, to park in parallel and perpendicular places. Now... This is the, and let's talk more about this uh, hands-free driving. Now, the blue oval, which is uh, everybody knows is Ford. This, this driver exists package, it's, they're saying it's gonna rival Tesla. Now, Ford developed this hands-free driving aid that's definitely similar, and they're claiming that it's going to be similar to Super, uh, Super Cruise. Now, this was all confirmed um, last Thursday, but they say when it launches next year, it's going to cover over 100,000 miles highway. This is just de definitely a, a summary of what we just talked about. Now this is definitely going to be an evolution. The Mustang Mach-E SUV, uh, which will first get uh, get the tech, it's going to be the first one to get this out of the whole Ford lineup. And I'm wondering, will be I wonder if they're going to offer this also on the um, Ford Bronco. I guarantee you they will. Now, at the time of purchase, early adopters of this um, all-electric SUV are going to be able to order this, as we talked about earlier. And now, the third quarter, the software that enables the hands-free driving is, uh, can be bought and added to the vehicle. And again, we talked about that happening at the dealership over the air. Now, let's go back and look at some of these comparisons. comparisons. This is the interior. Of course, this is the, the range telling you 300 hands-free. And this thing is just telling you about the active assist and um, blind spot monitoring, uh, your speed, and the gear you're in, 
and the odometer. This is a nice look at the system from a nice angle too as well. And it's just another angle of the Ford Mustang Mach-E. This is just the front angle of the Ford Mustang Mach-E. <laughs> Let's see something right quick. Now, let's um, let's talk about the the options that are going to be offered on the uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now, with the uh, with the co-pilot. We're talking about things such as lane keep assists and um, many other things being offered with this particular car. In the middle of let's see this. Now they're saying this is also going to be able to park in parallel parking spaces and also perpendicular parking in parking in parking lots. Um, they talk about this having um, cross traffic alert and different features. Now some of the features are not offered on Tesla, but they're going to be offered on the Ford Copilot uh, 360 2.0. So this is just a an awesome thing that Ford has you know with this with the uh, Mach E and this is gonna you know bring bring it you know more of an emotional bond to the drivers with these features that it's gonna be offering and it's gonna make it sellable and uh, I hope this um, gave you enough information just about the um, the autonomous semi-autonomous driving that uh, the Ford Mach E is gonna be offering again this is AO Automotive Reviews thanks for watching and remember, like, share, and subscribe. Remember, you are AO Automotive Reviews. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.